As the weather warms up after a long, cold winter, we're excited to be getting back out further into the mountains. With that in mind, we're headed for the warm weather and beautiful scenery of Kamloops, BC for some adventure and lakeside camping. Along the way are some beautiful trails with epic views. My name is Sean, and this is the story to now. Brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. Also by White Rock Dodge. And in part by Down here at White Rock Dodge, got a service appointment today on the trail wrecker, getting the steering box upgrade. If you're looking for a dealership that will not give you a hard time for having a lifted truck when you come in to get your service done. These guys have been a huge supporter of the channel. They've helped us out a ton and uh, they do good work. Good people. How's it going? Not bad, man. A little special delivery. Special delivery. We're going to be brewing. Some nice fresh uh, brews. We're just down at Epic Adventure Outfitters where Teddy is getting his new bumper and worn winch installed on the truck so that he can rescue me when I get stuck. And then we're gonna go out on an adventure. Say, you know who's gonna help me break this thing in? You. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Got a bumper. And? The shackle. And? The rooftop tent. The rooftop tent. <laughs> the custom rack I built. You built a custom rack? Yeah. It looks like it's made so, out of wood. It is, yeah. It took a couple of hours of work. We just threw something together real quick. It's all strapped down. It's not going to fly off. So the weather here the last couple of days has been kind of terrible. It's looking nice today, but we heard it's going to be, what, 18 to 20? 18, yeah. 18 to 20 in Kamloops. So we're going to go hit some mountains out there. We've got a pretty good route plan. Should be a good time. Let's rock and roll. The road to Kamloops takes us through a few high mountain passes, and it's about a four hour drive from our homes. starting our trip up into these mountains here. We're basically just gonna try and find a place to camp for tonight because uh, the sun's starting to go down and then we'll continue on our journey in the morning. Are you vlogging? <laughs> <laughs> We've never driven this route before, and we're starting just as the sun is beginning to go down, with the goal of finding camp so that we can get an early start first thing in the morning. As we started descending back down towards the lake, we found ourselves on a road with an incredible view that ended with a perfect camp spot. Hey, this feels pretty good. Where are we at? There you go, that one's perfect. That you got a level? Two degrees a little bit. Nailed it. So, 
Let's just move up a little bit. You excited? Your first rooftop tent sleep? I am so excited. I gave it a little test drive the other night. Yeah? You just lay in there for a little bit and chill? Yeah, yeah. And then my Cynthia started yelling at me. She said, come back inside. Get I said, inside. okay. Get in the house. Get in the house. <laughs> All right, guys, we found this awesome spot overlooking the lake here. We're gonna set up camp behind us. It is pretty windy, so we're hoping the wind dies down a little bit, because otherwise it's gonna be really cold tonight. After getting our tent set up and a long day of driving, our thoughts turn quickly to dinner. We're gonna do some uh, cheeseburgers. <laughs> cheeseburgers? <laughs> it's like a regular burger, but with cheese. Man, now you're speaking my language. <laughs> Guys, we've been driving all day. I'm starving. I can't wait for these burgers. The sun's setting over the lake behind us. This is pretty epic. I'm gonna get a fire going because it's getting cold real quick. sleep in the rooftop tent. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Had a good sleep. Time for some breakfast with a view. That's going to be onward with this adventure. side of the mountain and around we're gonna hit a lake up there around 1100 meters elevation and then we're gonna head back down and try and find a spot on the beach to camp tonight This lengthy mountain pass was pretty smooth, with very little snow. We passed a frozen lake around 1100 meters elevation and then took in some spectacular views through a river valley. Just stop for a quick break. Been driving for a couple hours now on the trail, and uh, we're probably about halfway through the pass. It's a nice little valley here, so we thought we'd uh, stretch the legs. Bit of a drop off here. We're gonna keep going, try and find a trail that we're looking for. It should be a little bit more interesting than just the while wow, scenic, somewhat boring dirt road so far. It wasn't long before we found ourselves down in a grassy meadow, making our way into some rougher terrain through the cliffs along the lake.
Some of these trails were not much wider than our Jeeps, and then we came to this incredible rock face. crosses sat atop the rocks, we pondered if someone had driven off the edge to an unfortunate fate. After another long day of driving, we found ourselves at a perfect beach to set up camp. All right, we arrived at camp. We're gonna get all set up, get a fire going, because it is not. 20 degrees out here, like the weather forecast said it was gonna be. It's more like five or six, but can't beat this lakeside view and this nice private beach. I know what we have to do. You know how you build the log house out of your kindling when you're making the fire? We need to make a log house out of trees. <laughs> right? Sounds it's like a simple plan. Yeah, so we just need at least, you know, four big pieces of tree. That's how you make a fire, properly. You use the house and the teepee, with the teepee in the house. And then you make a bridge from the teepee to the house. I don't know where I was going with this. <laughs> All right guys, we just finished a really good steak and veggie dinner and garlic bread, which was amazing. Uh, cheesy garlic bread on a barbecue next to the lake and a really good campfire that you can't see, it's below the camera. Uh, great way to end a day.
Any morning when you wake up to a view like this, not bad. After a couple of amazing days of adventure and camping, it felt like we'd kicked off the spring just right. No heavy snow to plow through, just sunshine, incredible views, good food, and good company. This is going to be a great year of adventure, and we're just getting it started. 